fit up here what we need to do, see? Let's get some shot up in here what's going on. <laughs> like what is going on in here? <laughs> Hold up in here. Up in here. Get on up in here. Get on up in here. Where we... <laughs> See, the gravel flow, man. I need to mount that on that bucket we're carrying with you. Yeah. I'm trying to follow it. Can't hold that and not create them things. Found on your forehead. Yeah, I feel if I had my double knot seven spike last year. There you go. There you go. But I broke the button off of them. Yeah. The start button. That's the sunglasses. The video camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Cheap ones. Real cheap, you know. Gotta have a pair for parts. Spare. This here is a certified operator. Yeah. He's running this case yeah. here. Yeah. Certified. Certifiable. Yeah. <laughs> should be down about to that pipe. Huh? I should be getting close to that pipe. Yeah, should be. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There you got it, buddy. Well, oh, you're good. You just gonna skim across the top of it? You gonna... Well, I've got to dig it up anyway. Yeah, I might as well just break it on out and be done, baby. Have food with it, wait. But I kind of like to have an idea how deep it is so I can put the other one about the same. Right. One foot forward and three back. Yep. Dig one foot, three slush in from each side. I'm just going to shoot this a minute up through here. See how far we went. How many feet is that, do you think? I don't know. Probably not, maybe. Not fun. This is not fun. This is not a fun project, digging up a septic line. Well, what's going on here is when we put this lean-to on the back of the shop that was done after all the plumbing had been done and I have a little apartment unit that I built into this shop when I put this in and uh, the other day a friend was here washing some clothes and he called me and I went out and all the when the washer went on the spin cycle it was backing up into the shower and running out in the floor in the shop rather than going down the sewer line. So we had to do some investigating and discover that in the process of putting in these posts, uh, we didn't realize that one of them had been set uh, not right directly on the sewer pipe but close to it, uh, over, uh, over it a little bit. And it had kind of collapsed that sewer pipe because that's thin wall stuff. and allowed roots to get in there and grow in the pipe and plug it off and there was uh, about I had to take up 40 feet of pipe here it was full of these things called horsetails and it's roots that just grow in there and this one I don't know if you can see all of it in the frame here but you know it was full it was long these are cut off and uh, pieces of it but it was it was just packed full and, and uh, so it was starting to back up but what I cannot figure out, oh, by the way, I've got all this pipe replaced 40 feet of it and I put in much heavier stuff, heavy gauge stuff that won't collapse and uh, I'll be happier with that, but hopefully it'll last another 18 years and I won't need to do this again, but uh, I'm getting ready to get on the back hole there and, and the bucket and the tractor and push all this back in and cover it up and uh, another project will be done. I one I didn't anticipate and didn't want to do, but you know, <clears throat> things happen. So, here's my main concern. I have these horsetails that came out of this pipe. That's a four inch pipe. What I don't know, and what I cannot wrap my mind around is how did these horses get down in that little four inch pipe and leave their tails in there? I don't get it.
Well, I've been scratching around out here with my little tractor and raking around and things look a whole lot different than they did a half hour ago. I might get a rake and uh, kind of smooth out a few little bumps here and uh, I think I'm going to call that pretty good. You know, I've got to, uh, I don't know if you can see with the way the sun's shining here right now, but i got a pile of 5 8 minus out there and I use it around here a little bit once in a while and uh, I might spread a little bit more of that around and so I don't have any mud in my parking area but yeah that looks pretty smooth to me and uh, of course it'll pack down a little and when it does I'll refill it but yeah I'm gonna pick up some of this old pipes laying around here and get rid of it and uh, call that a, a pretty good day got that problem fixed and now I move on to the other one. It seems like when it rains it pours and I've had a whole bunch of things break all at once around here. So anyway, that's the way it goes. And I'm just going to go right with flow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.